Hey, hey, I'm Giga, and this is episode 11 of the Life in Lockdown Challenge. So check out the previous episodes if you haven't yet, and subscribe so you don't miss out on the future ones. But let's get started. Today's episode is all about sleep. And whenever I think of cool places I've slept, two stories pop up in my head. One is the place which I'm going to be painting, which I'll tell you about in a second. And the other one is this one. We're back in 2015. I had just moved to San Francisco for work a few months ago. And as you might have noticed from the previous videos or my Instagram, I love the outdoors. Doing outdoor sports, camping, or just being outside. And so do all of my friends. As a matter of fact, they would go to the mountains most weekends with their vans, and at this point, since I didn't have mine yet, I was either able to find a spot to sleep in their vans, or just stay in the city and be all jealous. This particular weekend, they were gonna go climbing in Yosemite. I had been to Yosemite once, and I was just awestruck by it. That place is incredible, and so I really wanted to do it. I had just started climbing when I moved to San Francisco, and I was super into it, going almost every day to the climbing gym and just trying to get better at it. But I had only been climbing in the gym, I still haven't had the opportunity to go outdoors at this point. And there was still another issue, which was, there was no place to sleep. All their vans were full, because they were all going with their girlfriends and other partners, and I didn't really have a place to sleep. But, since I really wanted to go, I said, F*** it, I'll go, and I'll figure out where to sleep when I get there. So, super early on Saturday morning, I meet my friends at their house, we get in their van, and drive to Yosemite to go get our climbing on. If you're into climbing, we did this route called After 7 in the valley. It was my first crack climbing, it was my first outdoor climbing, and out of the, all of those things, I got to do it in Yosemite Valley, which is basically the mecca of climbing. So, it was definitely a good day. But we started super late, I was pretty new to it, and we did it as a trio. We ended up getting to the top around sunset time and had to down climb in the dark. It was an epic day, great adventure. But now, it was dark, and it came the time to figure out where I was sleeping. It was September, which in one way was good, because I didn't have to worry about rain, so I decided I would sleep on the floor, outside, in between my friend's vans. The problem was that even in September, it gets to negative degrees at night, which is pretty cold. And my sleeping bag was pretty old, full of holes. But luckily, even though my friends didn't have a place for me to sleep inside the van, they did lend me their sleeping bags, and another one gave me a pretty big down jacket. So I just crashed in between the vans, looking at the sky, and it was such a good night. I was pretty warm, actually. And you can actually see in this picture how it was. It was such an awesome night. The second awesome place I slept is the one I'm painting here. I went there when I was working from Medellin, Colombia in 2019. I had heard about it from a couple of friends that were working at the hostel I was staying at. And they just told me it was a super cool place, but it was a little bit of a mission to get there. I decided to do it anyway. I took a couple days off work, hopped on a bus, told the driver where I was trying to go, which luckily he knew what it was, and just took a seat. After around four hours, the driver tells me, we're here. So I get out and I look around. We're in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a little dirt road that just had a couple of constructions next to it. I walked to one of them to see if they can tell me where I needed to go next. It was this little grocery store, which by the way was the only thing that sold supplies around. The closest town was one hour away by bus, so when you come here you gotta bring all of the supplies you need for the duration of your stay. I was staying for two nights in my case, so I had in my backpack two days worth of food and water. But when I'm getting to the store, a little kid shows up with a couple horses asking if I wanted a ride to the place where I was going. I politely decline, and he still very nicely takes me to the beginning of a trail on the side of the road and says, just follow it for around 30 minutes. So I do. The trail is pretty clear and just goes up the side of the mountain, so no big deal so far. And after a few kilometers of just walking, not exactly knowing where, I get to the top of this hill and I spot a couple of constructions on the mountain across the valley. 
connect it to where I am by a couple of zip lines. I should tell you what these constructions are. They are a hostel. It's called Casa en el aire, or the house in the air, which you can probably guess why. And it's incredible. You arrange your stay all via WhatsApp, and when you get to this place where you see the zip lines, you message them and they get on the zip lines and come get you. All of the different structures are different rooms with different capacities, and the main house is a big dorm with a couple of floors and around 12 beds. There's no windows, it's all a big open space, and you're pretty much in nature, apart from the roof, which is pretty good because in Colombia you get a little bit of rain. The other incredible thing about this place is that other than the zip line, there's a bunch of other cool activities that you can do. You can set up a hammock on the zip lines and just take a nap or take a book and read, like the one I'm painting here. You can go rock climbing in the neighboring walls or even swing from the same zip line like I did. The other thing that was pretty awesome about this place was the crew that worked there. They're basically my type of people that love to be outdoors doing crazy activities and they mostly stay to themselves, which if you like your privacy that was good, but I managed to infiltrate their crew and share a couple meals with them and a few drinks and they even offered me a job. It was such a cool experience that I really just wanted to take a month of my work and stay there. But I couldn't and I needed Wi-Fi to return to work so I had to go back to the city. But yeah. That way, we made it to the end of this episode, so remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!